What's good guys, it's Seth with Ascent22.com. So we're a subscriber suggested Chainlink for technical analysis. So in this video, let's look at Chainlink and my short term and medium term price targets for Chainlink. As a reminder, I am only sharing my opinions, so nothing in here should be considered as financial advice. Now with that out of the way, let's kick this off by getting the general market sentiment for Chainlink using the open interest and the long to short ratio on Binance. So I am currently in the daily time frame, and uh, from the open interest chart, we see that open interest is currently rising for Chainlink. Uh, so this is showing that there's a lot of money flowing into the futures market for Chainlink. And it also shows that traders are not fearful in the market uh, for Chainlink and they are willing to take bets on Chainlink. Uh, but let's look at the long to short ratio uh, to see the direction of the bets. So looking at the long to short ratio, uh, we see that there are currently a lot of longs when compared to the shorts, right? Uh, let me get the percentages. So looking at the percentage, we see that there's currently almost 75% longs and 25% shorts. So traders are biased towards the bullish side and they are willing to put bets in the market uh, at the moment for Chainlink pushing higher in price. So generally, the market is pretty much bullish for Chainlink. Now let's look at Chainlink from the lower time frame to the higher time frame. So starting with the four hour chart, we see that Chainlink is currently trading at $23.16 and now we see that the price recently broke out of this broadening descending wedge pattern and now this broadening descending wedge pattern is usually uh, a bullish indicator and it normally predicts that price will break through the resistance line and push higher and we see that happening at the moment as expected uh, the Chainlink has broken through the resistance line and it's currently trading in this ascending channel pattern. And uh, this ascending channel pattern, you know what, let me clean up a little bit so we could take a better look at the ascending channel pattern. Uh, so this ascending channel pattern uh, is usually a bearish indicator and uh, it normally predicts that price will break through the support line. So the support line over here, this normally predicts that the price will break through the support line and then uh, push lower uh, and then it will probably revert backwards, right? Uh, but if Bitcoin does not dump, then I definitely see Chainlink pushing uh, like you know trading a little bit longer in this ascending channel pattern until price hits maybe 26 27 dollars uh, that is where i think we'll get some resistance and then that is when chain link will come back down and consolidate before pushing higher all right uh, but my price target the price target for this broadening ascending wedge pattern uh, is sitting at the 3h2 fibonacci retracement level or at about 29 dollars so i do expect chain link to go ahead about $29 uh, very soon uh, but that is only if Bitcoin does not dump uh, if Bitcoin dumps then we could see prices as low as maybe $19 or $20 uh, for chain uh, for chain link that is where I think on the VPVR uh, we get a good amount of support uh, to hold the price from pushing lower uh, so that is what I'll be watching uh, for chain link I uh, do expect chain link to push higher I'm I'm biased towards the bullish side for chain link uh, but now let's look at some indicators. Let's look at the RSI. From the RSI, Chainlink is looking bullish. The RSI is trending upwards and the RSI is currently at 58. But in my opinion, since the, uh, the RSI recently pushed into the overbought zone, I do expect a pullback uh, to the midpoint. The midpoint at 50. I do expect a pullback uh, in the RSI to 50 before uh, we probably stage another uh, reversal uh, and push back in strength uh, towards uh, $26. Uh, right, so that is what I that is what I see in my opinion. Uh, but let's look at the MACD. Uh, the MACD chart is showing that the MACD line is above the signal line and it's confirming the gain in strength that we are seeing in the RSI. Uh, but like I said, I do see a little bit of a reversal, a small reversal, uh, very soon uh, for uh, Chainlink. Uh, the squeeze momentum is also confirming the gain of momentum in the MACD. Uh, we see that we recently broke out of the squeeze. And uh, we have been printing uh, some green bars uh, in the squeeze momentum. Uh, but I do see we are getting darker green bars over here. So I do see some pullback soon uh, for uh, Chainlink. Now looking at Chainlink in the daily time frame, we see a good recovery for Chainlink. As price came closer to this support line over here, we see that the price has bounced uh, and things are looking bullish for Chainlink again. Uh, but I'm not going to spend too much time looking at Chainlink again in the daily time frame. Uh, I want to look at the RSI uh, the, let's look at the indicators in the daily time frame uh, for double confirmation uh, so the RSI is still trending upwards the RSI recently broke above the midpoint 
and it came back down to the midpoint for a retest and it's pushing higher. Uh, so things are, the RSI is still looking bullish for Chainlink, uh, but let's look at the MACD as well. Uh, from the MACD, we see that the MACD line recently crossed the signal line over here and uh, we got the reversal uh, of momentum and uh, things are looking bullish for Chainlink again in the MACD. So that's two for two. And let's look at the squeeze momentum. And now from the squeeze momentum chart, uh, we see that we are uh, the squeeze momentum is also confirming the gain of momentum in the MACD. Uh, so things are looking bullish for, uh, for Chainlink definitely, uh, but we have not yet broken out of this squeeze over here, right? So at the moment, I would say that's two and a half. That's a two and a half confirmation. I will need Chainlink to break out of this squeeze and then push higher for me to get really bullish on, on Chainlink then we could see Chainlink pump very hard. Uh, but that is all dependent on Bitcoin, I remember. So we definitely need Bitcoin pumping for Chainlink to definitely pump, uh, to also pump crazy as well. All right, now make sure to help our brother out. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. My name is Seth and I make crypto content that makes you more money. So if making more money with cryptos is something you are interested in, definitely hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications as well. And let me know which other coin you would like for me to cover in the comment section.